And we've made it! Again! The Robots is now 8 years old, and we have no plans on slowing down. Join us for the celebratory update 8.0. For each year in the game, your account gets 100 event coins. Once you've collected the gifts, follow Admitter, the most diligent and intelligent robot of the War Robots universe. He will show you around and help you win even more coins. This wouldn't be that much of an expo without any new things to show, right? Behold Skiros, the armor sphere. Now seriously, it is a robot and it has weapons. But when it needs to get somewhere, it furls into a ball and rolls. In this mode, Skiros can withstand a silly amount of damage, but cannot fight back. When it needs to strike, Skiros boasts an unusual combination of one light, one medium and one heavy weapon slots. Plus an Aegis shield. It's such a good all-rounder. Now, these new close combat arms go great with Skiros. Kajal, Mace and Hammer shoot tiny rockets, deal an area damage and accumulate the blast effect on the enemy. The closer the target is, the more rockets will hit it. Well, well, look who is here! The Gold Miner drone has returned and is ready to boost your supply lines. Starting with this update, the daily resource bonus will not be limited to silver. The drone harvests gold, platinum and silver, and occasionally brings you some black market keys. No idea where he gets those. All you need to do is press this button. You don't know exactly which resource you will get, but you can order the drone to bring more by watching a short ad video. He is a hard-working fella. As we've mentioned many times before, we never stop working on maps. This year we continue updating visuals for the classic locations. And what can be more classic than Springfield, the very first map of the game? The new Springfield becomes available with this update. We've basically reworked it from scratch. Buildings, textures, lighting – it now even has traces of water and those tiny boats down in the riverbed. It should consume less of your device resources, too. We hope you like it. Stay tuned for our test server news for the next announcement on maps soon. You've seen the scariest overview, right? The guy presenting the ball board is Theseus, our new pilot. Theseus has gone through so many battles and consequent surgeries that he's mostly robot himself at this point. He is far from being a soulless machine, though. What has it, he never retreats when there is a teammate's life at stake. That's how he lost most of his organic body parts. I'm sure you'll hear more of him later into this update. And this is Eddie, the guy living his dream. Back on Mars, a game about surfing changed his life. Eddie went overboard to find his way to Earth to see some waves for real. Now he's here, fighting battles for corporations and spending his holidays at the ocean shore. But what does the ocean look like after the cataclysm? There are just a couple more things you wouldn't want to miss during this update. Rising from the forgotten sea bottles, Eldritch Capri joins the fight. No, it can't be destroyed by ramming. Look for Eldritch Carmola to complement its otherworldly style. We have also extended the stellar line with this special edition of Prisma. Alright, now let's start celebrating. Just one more thing. In a few weeks, we will kick off our first ever War Robots live show. The devs will unveil our plans for the upcoming months and give away lots and lots of in-game goods. Share the news and stay tuned! See you on the show, Commanders!